Yeah, danger is my assignment. I get sent to a lot of places I can't even pronounce. They all spell the same thing, though, trouble. This time, it's the African jungle. One of these men is a British agent. The other one's a killer. I don't know which is which. I've got to hand my gun to one of them. If I choose the wrong man, I'm dead. The job had all sounded so easy. You get over to Africa and question a guy who's been conducting a hate campaign among the witch doctors directed against us. A campaign which has cut down the flow of vital raw materials. A British agent named Withers has captured this gent somewhere in the interior and is bringing him out. Lieutenant Butcher of the local garrison and I are supposed to meet Withers and his prisoner here. I don't like it, Mitchell. I don't like it at all. They should be here by now. You sure we got the right meeting place? Oh, absolutely. When Withers sent one of his bearers in to tell us he'd captured this chap, he specified this location as the meeting place. Huh. Is Withers alone with this guy? No, he's got another chap with him from intelligence. A chap by the name of Lipton and a native guide. I couldn't spare any troops. With threats of uprising, I was ordered to hold them all at the garrison. <laughs> well, with three guys guarding one, what kind of trouble could they get in? Plenty. You see, we've an idea that this prisoner has a few friends in the area. Oh. Our information is that the original party sent in to stir up the trouble numbered five men. And this prisoner is the boss? Right. What's worrying me is this, that Chapel undoubtedly tried to rescue him. Juana! Well, it sounds like Mungo now. Did you see the Mungo? No, sir. I climbed one of the tallest trees and I could see for miles, but I couldn't see him. We'd better go in after them, Mitchell. Okay. Is it always this hot? No, it's sometimes hotter. <laughs> well, your aim's terrific, old boy. Yeah, I'm quite a marksman. Well, don't let the little ones bother you, though. Wait until you run into the kind that tries to lift you off the ground. <laughs> oh, as well. So, these orders read for me to return with these troops to the garrison immediately. What? New threat of an uprising to the south and the big one. A chap and his friends did their work real well. well what about Withers in this party? Well, that's a good question. Hey! Someone's coming. Could be Withers. with his party, water. Got a first aid kit, Mongo? What happened, Lipton? Last night. They attacked us. Who? Friends of the prisoners. They killed the guide. Where's Withers? He's all right. He's fighting in the jungle with the prisoner. He sent you in for help? Yes. But on the way, they took a shot at me. Any idea how many men attacked your party? We think... Four men, all armed. We killed one of them. And three men left, probably scouring the area for Withers and his party right now. Where did you leave them, Lipton? The map. There. Oh, his pulse is strong. I think he'll be all right. Take care of him, Mungo. And rig up the stretcher. Is 
We were about here, and the attack took place up here. It's about a day and a half away through some pretty rugged country. You think Withers is headed this way with his prisoner? No, I don't. I think he realizes his chances of making it alone are pretty slim. Oh. In other words, you think he's holed in up in that territory waiting for help? Right. And right now, that seems to be my problem. My orders are to return to the garrison immediately. Oh. <laughs> you mean I'm elected, huh? Seems as if. Let me take another look at that map. Now, this is where they are? That's right. Looks like a bend in the river there. It is. It backs up to form a sort of a lagoon. There's quite a bit of good concealment there. With a bit of luck, that's where you'll find Withers and his prisoner. Yeah, with luck. That's why I keep it. Oh. Well, I guess I better get started right away. How many men can you let me have? Well, uh, that's the embarrassing part, old boy. Oh, now, wait a minute. Well, what can I do? My orders are to keep all troops in the vicinity of the garrison. Mm. That's just getting peachier by the minute. What am I supposed to do, sally forth all alone? Well, I, uh... Wait a minute. Strictly speaking, Mungo is not considered one of my troops. I could let you have him. Gee, thanks. Well, orders are orders. Yeah, I know. And he's the best guide I ever had. I'll okay. All right. How is he, Mungo? He'll be okay. You take your orders from Guana Mitchell. Guide him to the bend in the river. Yes, sir. Wait a minute. I got an idea. What is it? Those three pals of the prisoner tried to stop Lipton from coming for help. And almost succeeded. Yeah. It figures they must be hiding along the trail to watch where the help goes to. They might not be very far from here. So? Well, Mongo and I wouldn't have much chance against three armed men. But if you and your boys would sort of decoy them... You mean lead them off in another direction? Yeah. Mongo and I can go along with you, and a certain spot we'll get lost and head for that bend in the river. Why, of course. We could start a gradual circle back to the garrison. If the men followed us, that'd give you a little more time. It's worth a chance. All right, we'll do it. I'll send Lipton back along the trail with two of the soldiers. Why, see? What's that? Let's begin our circle. Well, Mitchell, this is the jumping off spot. As far as I can go, I can't risk any more time. Okay, which trail do we take? That one. I'll continue along this one and start my circle back. Well, I hope it works. I hope so, too. I'll try to run a daily patrol out this far to meet you on the way back. Good luck. Thanks. Come on. Well, I guess it's nobody here but us chickens. Yeah. Hey, where'd you pick that up? I majored in sociology at UCLA. Hmm. Well, come on, Major. Let's see if our gag is sharp enough to work.
Little and the guide are not with me. farther. It's too far to reach tonight. We better camp here. natives or the rescue party. Suddenly I realize I'm making a pretty good target of myself. party has figured out the decoy and now they're back on my trail with Mongo gone. I'm really on my own. I've got to get out of here. By morning after a wide circle and some fast travel, I figure I've given them the slip at least for the time being. I'm a little rocky from lack of sleep, but I figure I must be getting pretty close to Withers' hiding place. Yeah, that bend in the river couldn't be very far from here. Knock it off. Put your hands in the air, both of you. I say, old man. Shut up. You must be the two guys I'm looking for. Which one of you is Withers? I am. I am. Now, look. I'm Withers. You're lying. I'm I, Withers. I tell you I am. Oh, so you're both Withers, huh? No, he's lying. Well, that ought to be easy enough to prove. Let's see your papers. Of course. I have them... That's strange. He stole them from me. I did not. Those papers belong to me. Okay, Buster. You show me the papers. Certainly, I've got them right. <laughs> well, they, they must have fallen into the river during the fight. Oh, sure, sure. All right, whichever one of you is with us must have had a gun. Where is it? He knocked it out of my hand into the river during the fight. He's lying. He knocked it out of mine. Look. For the time being, I'm going to call you guys Pat and Mike. You're Pat. All right. I don't mind being called Pat, but my name really is Withers, and I think this is all pretty silly, Mitchell. Oh, so you know my name, huh? Of course. You're Steve Mitchell, and you're supposed to meet me and my prisoner here. I see. No, you don't see Mitchell. He overheard me and my partner mention your name before his friends jumped us. That's not true. Now, look. Mike. Well, I suppose that's the name you prefer to call me, but I'd like to be called by my own name, Withers. Wait a minute. Well, what's the matter? I don't hear anything. That's just the point. Those birds stopped all of a sudden. Get your bonnet and get out of here undercover. Nice try, but it didn't work. It was an accident. 
If that was no accident, those men are his friends. That's a lie. Keep quiet. Come on, let's get out of here. Move. Just a minute, Mitchell. We can settle this right now. Now, this chap claims he's I, so let me ask him a simple question. Shoot. Who's your superior officer? Major Summersby in London. <laughs> Sorry. Major Summersby was promoted three weeks ago. Major Hawkins is in charge. Well, I, uh, I've been out of touch with the Home Office for some time. I... Quite. All right. Two can play at that game, my friend. You say you're with us. What's your wife's name? Helen? It's Edith. Now, look, this is no time to be standing around in the jungle playing guessing games. One of you is with us. The other's got friends beating the bush looking for them. We're getting out of here before they catch up with us. That's an excellent idea. Right now, I don't know which one of you is which, but I'll figure it out sooner or later. In the meantime, I'm taking no chances. Get this. First one of you that tries anything gets his head blown off. Any questions? We travel all day, back the way I came. I'm playing a little game of who's who in my mind and getting nowhere. getting myself into thinking I've shaken off the pursuit, and the worst of it is that here in the jungle it's hard to tell how close behind they are. I know our only chance is to keep moving. By nightfall, we're too tired to take another step. I've had no sleep in the last 48 hours, and I'm really beat. We sit there eyeing each other like sleepy vultures. This has been a rough go for you, Mitchell. All right, save the sympathy. No, I mean it. Going this long without sleep. That's a nasty word. Yeah. Nothing like good old sleep. Mitchell, watch out! You can crawl back now. He was just coming over to see if I was comfy. Uh, I guess you know who's who now. I'm beginning to. 
And look, no more games tonight. Okay. Take off your belts and toss them over here. dreams, kiddies. Hey. The last time they stopped, a guy got killed. on our tail. Come on, let's get moving. No good. I can't go on without some sleep. Don't tell me we're supposed to carry you. No. The garrison is about an hour from here, at this rate. They'd catch up with us before then. So? So I've got to make a decision. Which one of you is Withers? Give him my gun. So he can get out with the other guy. What about you? I'll find a place to hide. Until you can send somebody back for me. Congratulations. You chose the wrong man. I just got back the ten years of my life you took away a minute ago and you handed him the gun. Maybe we're not out of the woods yet. You know, one thing I'm curious about. He was so clever with his answers, I was beginning to wonder whether I really was with us. How did you find out about it? You know something? He didn't. What? Well, congratulations, Mitchell. I see you made it. Sounded like you did, too. Yes, we took care of the others. Bring a stretcher with you? Why, uh, yes. After a breather, we hoist Mike to his feet and hit the homeward trail with him. I guess he's still trying to figure out how I got wise to him. I just haven't got the heart to tell him I didn't. Mm -hmm. 